Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this program, we will be going over how to collect strings with the fgets function. So this video will be very short, but as a reminder, I already made a video about how to do the exact same thing, but with another input function, the scanf function. That video will be in the description of this one right below the like button. But uh, taking a look at the code, you can see we have a simple program that uses the fguess function to echo input back to the user. The fguess function um, can read from any open file or input stream. So not only can you read from the standard input stream, i.e. your keyboard, you can also use the function to read from a file as well. So let's cover some key information about the fguess function. The fguess function will always read the new line character if the buffer is big enough to hold it. You can see that that is the difference between it and the scanf function that we covered in the previous video. So taking a look at the code, you can see that we specify the string pointer in the first section of the parameter of the fguess function. This is the location in memory we will store our collected string. Next, we also specify the size of the location in which we will be reading the string into. In a sense, this is what lets the function know when the buffer is too small and there is more lines to be read from the input stream. The last thing to specify in the parameter is the input stream you will be using to read input. So in our case, we will be using the standard in and collecting strings through the keyboard. If you wanted a file, you can specify that um, in this section of the parameter as well. So although the fgets function will read a line from the specified input stream and store it into um, the string pointer to it by the pointer, it stops when either n-1 characters have been read, with n being the size specified in the second portion of the parameter. Um, it also stops when a new line character is read or if the end of the file is reached, whichever comes first. I mean, although that's pretty chill, I would recommend using the fscanf function if you need to read from files and the scanf function for simple short strings if you need more fine-grained control. Um, it does have its uses though. Um, the fguess function is very good for reading an entire line in a file, but the scanf function can be used for that, but also handles conversions from strings to built-in numerical types better than an fguess function. But yeah, that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, consider leaving a like if this video helped you out in any way. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.